All right, everybody. Right now, I'm in the middle of an order for a customer. They wanted 15 gold dog tags with black paint inside the engraving to say tenor strong with a flexing arm. That's what it looks like when it's done. This was the first proof I sent to the customer and all 15, that's number one of 15, are gonna look like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I set this up and what I did. Uh, as you can tell, I got a bunch of things going. I got some wood boxes that are being engraved and stained and uh, clear coated for customers. I'm just finishing the top two ends. That'll be delivered to this customer tomorrow. That's actually a gift, so that's not a right customer. Um, that's five of the remaining 14 dog tags. So what I did first is I took a standard gold dog tag like this. Um, I get my dog tags from ChewBarka.com. Awesome company. Uh, I haven't found any better quality out there anywhere. Um, yeah, you find a couple mistakes, one that here and there throughout the batches, but and this is nothing. You know, the 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 they're usually 100% good quality. So what I did is I went out and I got the really good quality frog tape. That's this right here. It's green stuff. I have it coated on one side of the dog tag. I'm gonna put it up to the light, find out where the hole is on the dog tag because it does cover the hole. And I've got my system set up, so right there is the exact height I need for the best uh, engraving. I will let you know, if you have a K40 laser, you need to find out where your best focal length is. So now, I've already set this up to engrave 14 at the same uh, pattern, um, same shape, same work area, everything. And once you set it to repeat, this is the screen you'll get. It says finish, start next task. All you gotta do is hit enter once you have your next task set up. Basically, you just replace the material with new unengraved material and put it in the system. I hit enter. That's gonna start engraving. Um, yeah, I already changed this amber plexiglass out and put some clear in it because uh, it's a little easier to film with if it's clear. But anyway, it's just going to go through and it's going to engrave it, uh, basically how this one's sitting and engraves it from top to bottom. So you can see the G, the arm as it flexes, so on and so forth. Now, my next step, once I have the other 14 done, I have this wonderful uh, Rust-Oleum hammered black spray paint. This stuff looks really good on the dog tags. It adheres right to the bare metal of the dog tags, which is what I'm engraving too. Um, these dog tags, when they're engraved, will actually show white. Here's a good example. No, I'm not a Raiders fan. However, that's what it looks like. Because the way they coat their dog tags at Chewbarka, you have the bare metal, the white coating, and then the whatever color you choose coating outside of that. So when you engrave through the outer coating, you get the color, the white coating on underneath the color. Well, I want to engrave through that, so I increase my power. Uh, I'm sitting right about uh, 10 milliamps at 350 millimeters a second speed. It takes about three minutes and change per dog tag. And then once I get it engraved like this, I'll then take that basic dog tag with the engraving area open, because it engraves right through the tape, and I'll just put a clear, a quick spray paint coat of my wonderful hammered black uh, Rust-Oleum spray paint on top of it. I'll let it dry for about two, three hours. Then I'll use my trusty little uh, sewing pin right here. I'll pull up the remaining tidbits of tape. Come on, focus. You know, it's just a simple needle, nothing too extravagant. Just something long enough I can get a, a good grip on it as well as the dog tag and be able to pull that tape up. Once I pull the tape up, after I uh, get the spray paint on there, I then go ahead, just put a clear coat, which this dog tag right here has already received the clear coat, and thus you get the final product. Uh, this is for a bunch of tenors in our church choir, tenor strong. They want it to be uh, <laughs> outspoken as they always are at my church. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Go ahead, feel free to hit the, uh, send me a message. Uh, please make sure to uh, subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, if you're feeling froggy, go ahead and share it in your local laser group. Have a good evening, guys. Good night.